What's up guys, it's Shady's Babies. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do artifact across three monitors. Um, so at the top of the screen I'm using OBS to do this. There should be all three of my monitors, um, which I could probably drag this around to show you guys. Um, you should see this on the left, in the middle, and on the right. There's that. Then in the bottom right hand you should see um, my uh, camera and then um, <clears throat> in the middle I have a kind of a zoomed in sort of thing which I'll be checking just to make sure I'm sending you the right guy the stuff um, so in here is the specs just to first off show you guys um, I'm just RX 580 AMD Ryzen uh, 16 gigabytes of memory um, that's pretty much the basics not a very expensive computer not a very high end it's pretty moderate um but yeah so to get into it actually i'm gonna need this still like that all right start off when i launch artifact normally like this it'll have um it's not going to show the resolutions that you can get across three monitors and what i use is ifinity which comes a part of amd um well if you choose to install it I don't know if you can install it on like NVIDIA graphics cards or I don't actually know if it comes from the processor or the graphics card, but um, you might be able to pull it off. But so just to jump right in, what I usually do is I hit quick setup and it's going to start to begin this like monitor resolution. So now it's only one display, which might be screwing up OBS. Let me take a look. Yeah, so OBS is kind of really weird now but at the top you do see there's my one um one what's it called yeah, you can kind of see on the camera it's gonna be kind of hard to show you i was not actually expecting this to happen but let's uh keep going so over here um i usually hit this advanced setup which should open up another window maybe there it is and on this advanced setup there is a uh, a resolution i can kind of zoom in with the camera there and i think artifact supports 5280 um, by 1050 but you can select and it supports i know it supports the 960 840 and 780 on the lower end of the resolutions um i personally do this one um, just because it's a little, it, it makes the game run smoother for me at least. But for this video sakes, uh, I guess I can't change the custom resolution. But we'll set it to there for now. Yeah, and you can adjust this to match whatever your system wants. And um, well, I guess right now it's set at 5,000. Huh. Well, we'll just leave that so once ifinity has been set up from there you can simply just click play and it will show up in the middle first and um after i go in next over here you're gonna want to set the resolution system and over here it's and i have to play around with this a little but let me zoom in with that it would have been nicer to have it show up on the uh, the left of obs over here but which is what i originally intended but so i hit apply right there and boom it's across all three monitors so let me adjust obs actually to make it in the middle do, 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 do. just like that actually i could probably get rid of a transform on it nope no transform okay yeah that's looking good so it's pretty stretched right now and that's expected um i'm just gonna do a quick demo and then i'll play a game i'm gonna record with a better camera um and i'll show you guys kind of the uh how it plays but right now this is a uh 1600 resolution 1980 or 19 whatever 1920 and then this one's 1600 also so this one's 16 by 10. These two are the same, the ones on the sides. 
and then this one is 16 by 9. But as you can see, it works. The only issue is that sometimes it'll like stretch a little. And how it's supposed to be is if these were all flat against it, like, and what I have is, is like curved, sort of. But it's all right. It's kind of a little disorienting at first. Um, another kind of annoying thing is that going across it kind of jumps, but that's kind of expected. So um, I'll just jump right in and do a um, quick, we'll do a bot match. Oh yeah, that's another thing. This kind of just breaks for me. I don't really know why, but do a bot match. Um, I've got a fun deck I've been working on. It's kind of a cheap one, but, and then we'll go against a uh, green machine. It's one of the hardest ones for me personally, but. So when we jump right in, um, it it's gonna look, I'll just, you guys will just be able to see what happens. Um, when you, the lane in the middle is the one that you're currently focused on. Um, so it's gonna zoom in on the left. So as you can see, it's kind of disorienting in a way. Um, and if I go over to the right, now, now this is how artifacts should look like. Um, kind of, it would have been nice to have the cards over on the right side. I got my mic in the way, like here, and then make it not so it's like stretched, but it wasn't really intended for this kind of monitor setup. Um, but if I just go back, I can uh, just do a quick new orders. And when I get a global card, it's actually pretty cool. I can be in this lane and like, or it works better in the middle lane. Um, I can just drag it over to another screen and click it and it won't actually move the screen like it would in other, um, what's it called? Hide from me. Like in the, in the normal version, it'll do that. Um, so hopefully I can get a global card. Um, yeah, we'll see if I get... I don't know if I have any global cards in this deck. I should have done a blue deck, but... I'll just draw a card. And um, another, uh, one of the annoying parts about this is that... Um, I think we'll put it over here. Is that the, the money's way down here, and then the people are way up here. It's hard to see stuff. And also, none of their symbols show up. Like, the information shows up when you're zoomed out that far. Which is pretty annoying for uh, when you're trying to see, like, certain information. Like when you're placing. And you can't zoom in. That's one of the downsides. Um, like, the view of the board option does not work. I'll do that again after this kind of playthrough. Uh, still haven't got a global card. It's kind of lame, but whatever. I'll probably get to the end of this turn, and if I don't get a global, then I'll switch to a deck that has a lot of globals in it. Kind of winning this pretty good. I don't know, the green machines, I think, is the hardest one to go against. Just because of how much, like, the mana they get and stuff. We'll get that one out. Yeah, so you can, as you can see, I mean, right here, it shows the middle lane. It doesn't show the health unless I highlight over it. And the side lanes you have to highlight over. So it's pretty frustrating in that sense. But let's see if I get a global card. If not, then I'll switch to a deck that has, I think like blue decks use a lot of global cards. So I might just do the blue deck. I don't really want to make one. Um, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got some global cards. All right. We're in business. We're in business. I mean, I'm kind of losing this lane, so I guess we're not really in business, but you know how it is. So it's kind of annoying to have this blank screen, but it kind of works. Luckily, I got the black, this black card, so it's going to be easy to show off from the middle lane how it doesn't actually transition the screens over. It just, like, stays. Yeah, why not? All right, so I'm gonna do that global grazing shot. Um, and from here, I can actually see the different um, things, but I'm just gonna grazing shot like, and, and as you can see, it doesn't drag over to the other screen like it normally would. And I can just cast this from here. It does do a zoom out, but 
I don't have to actually go over to the side and then click there like that. Um, I don't know why he would do that. But yeah, that's pretty much the whole setting up process. Um, I don't really know how good this game's going. I haven't gotten any track kills yet. Uh, I'll just do that. I'll just end this turn. The whole idea is I just put no accident. See what I can buy or whatever. Um, but yeah, it. the only downsides are that you can't really see what's happening here. The money's in the corners. And uh, it's kind of hard to like... There's just a lot of information, and it can be a little dizzying at first. Um, and I think the reason why I play the lower resolution is because I get a little screen tearing. Just my computer, my monitors actually are not too happy with it. Okay. And on that note, uh, we'll drop that in the line. Okay. But I will go back to the main menu. Also, this main menu, it's just like moving my mouse across the screen takes forever. In the system, you can go over here and select what resolution you want. I think this is the one I normally do. And if your system is a little lower, you can run it at this one. Um, windowed, you might have to do it in windowed mode if you need to um, move it around. And I could probably break it if I go, well, that didn't really do anything. Sometimes it'll break kind of like that. I guess that's not really broken. I don't know. I've had issues where it won't cover the whole screen and then I'll have to restart. But other than that, um, yeah, it's pretty fun to just play here and have all three lanes available and uh, kind of adds to the overall immersion. But um, I guess I don't really need to do another, the full playthrough um, because, you know, I did that short game. But. Um, and then it's pretty simple to get out of Ifinity. You just go over to the middle and you can hit discard settings and yes. And it'll go back to whatever you had normally. OBS is probably freaking out. Okay, wasn't too bad. And um, yeah, I, I will probably be streaming for a little bit. I'll play some Artifact. I haven't actually streamed Artifact yet because it's kind of a dead game. But uh, if you guys are interested, uh, it's going to be at twitch.tv slash shadies um, after I post this video. Uh, and it's probably going to go on Reddit is where one of the links is going to go because that's kind of um, where I originally brought up playing on three monitors. And I got a lot of interest there. Uh, even Sir Action Slacks coming to the Reddit post. That was pretty cool. Shout out to him. Um, but yeah, and there's the, uh, the chonk right there. So... Um, <laughs> He'll be on the stream. He usually is all chon cam set up. But yeah, so that's just uh, real fast. You don't have to have a really high-end computer to do this. If you do, it probably runs even better. And you just hit the quick setup, and it'll automatically do the highest resolution. I think it'll do that 5K resolution. Um, yeah. All right. See you guys.